people of God, I'm back with another quick message. I wanted to remind the people of God tonight that we have to be doers, not hearers only. Now, James 1 and 22 says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. We don't want to be deceived. We have to understand that we have to follow the laws and commandments of God. We have to come to a full understanding of the word of God in order to apply it to our lives and implement it to our daily lives. We have to understand that we have to be transformed. We have to change our old habits and ways in order to be doers, not hearers only. Now, Romans 12 and 2 says, be not conformed by this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We have to gain understanding so we can activate, embrace, and walk in freedom. Work our faith because faith without works is dead. We have to apply the word of God to our life, align ourselves with the word of God and under, come to full understanding so we are able to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, following the ways the Lord wants us to go and when we follow these ways, we produce good fruit. The Lord will produce good fruit. Like the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We'll develop those fruits as we align ourselves with the word of God. As we apply the word of God to our personal lives so that we are transformed and walking in the way the Lord intends for us to walk in. We can't just hear the word and let it go on one ear and out the other and not change anything about our daily lives. The word of God should be transforming you as you hear the word. Sorry, I'm not trying to tickle anybody's ears tonight. I really want people, the people of God to come to understanding. James 1 and 22, don't be deceived. Be doers of the word, not hearers only. Forgetting how you look in the mirror. That's like forgetting how you look in the mirror. like a wave of the sea, back and forth, back and forth. When you hear the word of God, you're transformed by the word of God. When you hear the word of God, you apply the word of God to your life. You don't just live in your own ways. Create a God in your own mind. Manipulate scriptures to fit your lifestyle and, what, and how you see fit. And, and create an image of God when... The, the word of God is God. The word of God tells you how to live. It gives you instructions on ways to operate. So I just wanted to remind the people of God tonight. We are, Nobody's perfect. But if we live in daily repentance and, and follow the word of God to the best of our abilities, that's a start to understanding who God is. Allowing for him to transform you, to be born again, and to change into the image that God created you to be. To subscribe to the identity Christ has given you through being transformed by the word. Through working your faith and being doers of the word and not hearers only. So I just want to encourage the people of God to remember that scripture. To remember our duty is to follow the word of God and, and walk out the word of God in our lives and not just hear the word of God and, and forget it. So I pray you all have a blessed night and I will talk to you again soon. Good night.